Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly have a look at the questions. Question number one, what is the composition of air? Now as I said, air is made up of several gases. It's a mixture of gases. Nitrogen, it is the maximum. So nitrogen is almost 78.09 percentage of the air is nitrogen oxygen oxygen makes 20.95 percent of the air argon argon makes 0 0.93 percent of the air carbon dioxide is 0 0.03 so somewhere here you have carbon dioxide which is 0 0.03 percent and the rest of it is other gases and very small amounts and besides this air also contains water vapor and dust and smoke question number two which gas in the atmosphere is essential for respiration so we saw the mixture of gases but during respiration what do we breathe in we breathe in oxygen and what do we breathe out we breathe out carbon dioxide but which gas is essential for respiration to happen? For respiration to happen, we need oxygen. So oxygen is essential for respiration. How will you prove that air supports burning? So without air, you cannot burn an object. So we will take the same example of candle. Take a candle which is glowing and then cover it with a glass. And what do you observe? After some time, the candle extinguishes. Why does that happen? Because as soon as we cover it with a glass, then the candle has limited air supply. So only that much of air which is there inside the glass, that much of air is available for the candle to burn. So as soon as that air supply is over, what happens? The candle goes off. Question number four. How will you show that air is dissolved in water? So take water in a pan, start heating it. Just before the water starts to boil, you would see the presence of bubbles on the surface of the container. And these bubbles indicate the presence of air in water. So these are all simple experiments which you can even carry a, a, con conduct at your home. And you know, this would be a great learning for you because you are learning with uh, your hands on. Question number five, why does a lump of cotton wool shrink in water? So a cotton wool, this is how it looks like. So when you look at a cotton wool, it is, it, it seems to be very big, but when you actually weigh it and see it, it's like there's there a lot of spaces within it where air is present. Now, as soon as we dip it in water, air in the cotton wool escapes. So all the air escapes out and therefore it becomes very small because the big size of the cotton wool is because of the air that is trapped within it. The layer of air around the earth is known as this entire layer of air is called atmosphere. Question number seven, the component of air used by green plants to make their food. So green plants making their food, that process is known as photosynthesis. Right? And what is that component in the air? Whether it is oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, which component is taken up by the plants for photosynthesis? That is carbon dioxide. Question number eight. List five activities that are possible due to the presence of air. Respiration, because we breathe in oxygen, so we need air. So without that, we can't respire. Burning, again, as you saw, as soon as you cover it with a candle, it uh, goes off in some time. So burning cannot happen without air. Photosynthesis, for photosynthesis also, the plants need carbon dioxide from the air. So if there is no air, there would be no carbon dioxide. Movement of aeroplanes, if there is no air, the airplanes can't move. Movement of birds and insects, so they are, their bodies are structured in such a way that they can fly. But they can fly only when air is present. If there is no air, they can't fly. Question number nine. How do plants and the animals help each other in the exchange of gases in the atmosphere? 
uh, as discussed plants carry out photosynthesis that is they prepare their own food and for that purpose they take in carbon dioxide so they take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and as a result of photosynthesis they give out oxygen and this oxygen is taken up by the animals during respiration and during respiration they give out carbon dioxide which in turn is taken up by the plants so that's how they balance each other so whatever plants give animals take whatever animals give plants take so plants take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and animals give out carbon dioxide during respiration so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on air around us and i hope this would have helped you uh, but please uh, look at things around you and try to learn more and more things with your observation and with your own experimentation so i hope this lesson would have helped you see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.